same. I still be smoking on the low, mobbing on the low. I am a Peace Corps volunteer living in Ethiopia. So I know before coming out here, even though it's Africa, I was really worried about caring for my hair. I'm natural and I have been for about three years. Well, actually, I guess I've been natural my whole life. I've never had a relaxer or anything, but I really started trying to learn how to care for my natural hair about three years ago. I know many women might feel that if they're traveling out to a different country, there's going to be a limited amount of resources to use for your hair. And that's partially true, but it's not so much that the resources are limited, but it's just my lack of knowledge about the resources available to me. I wouldn't have access to all the product in the name brands that I'm familiar with using. I found there are many, many products here that work really, really great with my hair, probably because it's Africa. So I mainly only use water, conditioner, and oil in my hair to seal in the moisture. But um, for my hair, I'm, I'm really happy that I brought a spray bottle with me. The spray bottle is very simple. It's a very simple thing. But I would highly recommend it, especially if you're living in a town that frequently runs out of water. You will use a lot less water just spritzing your hair with a spray bottle than you would if you had to fill up a bucket and dunk your head or, or anything like that. There's no shortage of water here in my town, but there is no shower. <laughs> I have to take bucket baths in my house. Another reason why I'm really ha happy I have the spray bottle and another reason why I only use conditioner. If I'm caking my hair with a bunch of product and I'm not able to wash it frequently because there's no hot water, then that would be a problem. I also brought with me some curl formers. I know these are a little expensive and you can use other things like flexi rods and whatever else to like stretch out your hair. But I like to use them to stretch out my hair so it can be a little more manageable sometimes and I can just do different styles with it. And I don't have to put heat on it and use a blow dryer or anything. I also brought like a weave from onychair.com and it's pretty expensive but it's super quality hair and I kind of like sold it together myself to make a wig. So well, this is the inside. I just braid up my own hair and then I can just put it on my head, plop it on my head when I want and only sew down the perimeter which saves me a lot of time. It works just as good and it looks really, really good. I bought this like a year and a half ago. It's still in really great condition. But yeah, um, for my hair, I do, I managed to do a lot of braid outs. I braid it in plaits and I even wear it like that or do it in twists and wear it like that with a cap on. Um, but most of the time I'm to work, I just wear it up in a top knot bun and that works well for me. If I'm gonna go out or anything, I do a braid out. Like this, this is a braid out that I did. And I did it with products here used in country. I didn't use gel or anything. I just conditioner, water bottle, braids. It's good. With my hair, I like to really just keep it simple. You know, that's what I learned. I'm very low maintenance with my hair and I learned that just works best for my hair. Okay, so like everything else in Ethiopia and Peace Corps in general, hair care is an adventure. <laughs> so I just kind of use this time now that like I'm in a different place to just kind of like experiments with everything. Um, this past like three months, I haven't really done any heat. So like I've done like some crazy twist out things. Some worked, some didn't. Um, there's also some good like ingredients if you wanna like make some of your hair care moisturizing stuff. But there's like hair salons, which is surprisingly like very inexpensive compared to the States. So just do whatever. <laughs> hey guys, it's Gabby here. I've been living in Ethiopia for 19 months and I wanted to share a little bit about my hair care. So, when I first came to Ethiopia, I had a relaxer, so I had a huge transition into becoming natural. Uh, at first, I used to keep my hair in braids a lot. Um, ultimately, not good for your hair. It kind of destroyed my edges, uh, the people I was going to, so I, I switched it up. I started to just wear my afro, do twist outs, and uh, use different products. So unfortunately, when I first came to Ethiopia, I couldn't, they threw my shampoo out. I don't know why they took my shampoo and conditioner out of my bag. So I had to deal with the local products. <laughs> um, so I just used the conditioner mostly to wash my hair. Uh, the shampoo's not really good for my hair, I find. It dries it out 
terribly. Um, anyway, so I use the conditioner to wash it, and then I usually keep it in a fro. Then I moisturize it with olive oil and do a twist out. And then I just repeat this process, really. Or sometimes I'll go to the, to the salon and they'll uh, blow dry it for me and curl it. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard, especially when you have water shortages. Um, and especially when you don't always have the products that you want. So, you gotta adapt. Me, personally, um, it was interesting getting to know my hair again because, like I said, I had a relaxer for so long. Um, my hair is literally a completely different texture. It's like a sponge, really. Even if I put water on it, it can hold the water for like an hour. I'm not even joking. So, it's been an awesome hair adventure for me. One thing that is super interesting that I found here is when I do wear my hair out like this or if I comb it out and more like an afro, if I wear it out like big at all, I get 10 times more harassment in my town. And I didn't know exactly why, but a friend later had a theory and I think she's right. So prostitution, oh, it, it happens, like it happens everywhere in the world, but it happens here. And many of these CSWs, commercial sex workers, they have a lot of makeup, revealing clothes, and big hair. So my friend's theory was like, clearly, you know, I'm walking around town with big hair all out. It reminds them of these prostitutes. So sometimes I try to reduce wearing my hair out, mainly in my town, but when I go to Addis, I wear it out a lot. I know another volunteer who uh, lived here in Ethiopia and her curl was uh, tighter than mine and her hair is a little kinkier and she would wear her hair out in her frill. It looked, it looked absolutely beautiful. She had a great cut. It was very, very attractive, but she would wear it out in a frill and get a lot of stares from women and men and people coming up to her telling her like, that's ugly, that's unattractive. You need to braid it or you need a relaxer. I even noticed in my town, a lot of women don't wear their hair out. A lot of women have it braided up or in a ponytail or in some style. So it's just kind of sad because a whole train of thought is even here in the moment. You know? The furthest thing from perfect, everyone know. Ooh.